another big issue in this coming session is going to be water rights, water rights and access. So um, what are your thoughts on, on the water issue and protecting East Texas's water resource? Water and the land that's used to collect it is probably the biggest issue facing the, our Northeast Texas economy. It is fundamental to our agriculture, to our timber, to our poultry, our mining, our steel industry, and all the service industries that surround and support those. Our Constitution protects not only uh, the urban areas and the, where the many are, but it protects the rural areas. Your life, your liberty, your property is sacred. And the government is supposed to protect the minority's rights just as much as those in the majority. We do not have a pure democracy where the 51% can take from the 49. And yet, if we allow that to happen, that's what will happen. And I filed a bill to require consent for Dallas-Fort Worth to take our water and our land used to collect it. And we passed it, and then Dallas-Fort Worth lobby woke up. We had about a two-hour debate on the House floor, and we made some progress with some urban votes from Houston and Dallas-Fort Worth. But the only way we're going to win this battle is through the Constitution, because we do not have the votes. But our land, the fruits of our labor, are ours. And our economy, our economic development, is just as important as Dallas-Fort Worth. And there's things we probably would need to do with respect to reform as well. With respect to requiring, if you do use eminent domain, that you take into account the value to the taker. That we pay for a lease to use the land to collect the water. And not just pay it. Think of the guy at the bottom of the creek. He's got feral hog hunting land, duck hunting land. Maybe get $800, $1,600 an acre. But that's going to collect the most water for that reservoir. He ought to get paid based upon the proportion of water that he's collecting. And that ought to be our decision and not Dallas Fort Worth. We're blessed with a lot of natural resources, a lot of beauty, and water uh, is something we have. And other people want it, other people need it. And so it's going to have to be a free market transaction. If we can sell them oil and gas, we can sell them oil. We do it on our terms, again, in a free market transaction. It's also in our interest because we recognize Dallas is there. They're growing and they're using a lot of water. And so we're going to have to stand up for what we own and be so they treat us fairly. We're also going to have to provide alternatives. And there's a couple of very easy ones. The good news for us, the great news for us in Northeast Texas is there are plenty of places for Dallas to get water that don't require taking our land, taking our water. For example, there's a million acre feet of water on Toledo Bend Reservoir down south of us. A million acre feet just on the Texas side is completely available. It's unappropriated. Now, the Sabine River Authority that controls that, they're a state agency. They've already got a pipeline on the way. If we can encourage them to get that pipeline done, it's going to take care of Dallas for a long time. We can also raise the level on Lake Wright Patman over by Texas Canada many options available to us that don't require taking people's land and taking their water against their will. Let's do it on our terms. If we want to build a reservoir and sell it, we can do that, but they can't take it from us against our will. <laughs>